Motion app allows you to add motion functionality to your Control X core. This allows you to add servo axes and configure them for use in your project. As of June 2021, you can configure 10 real or virtual axes in your Control X core. After the axes are configured, you can parameterize the settings to change things like units or the orientation of the axes, whether it's linear, rotary, or modulo axis, and motion limits depending on the needs of your application. You can also configure kinematics. And in our first release, we have a Cartesian kinematic for simple XYZ motion. You can also configure a gantry axis for any of those axes as well. This provides you a full robotic system within the Control X core. You can also use the Motion app for commissioning, which allows you to move the axes around without any other programming. And this can be useful when you're testing the mechanics of your system. In this video, we're going to show you how to configure a few servo axes and a robot kinematic and get motion up and moving. Now I'll show you how to set up the Motion app on the Control X core. First thing that I open Control X works and I'm going to click on my controller here to open a web page where I can log in. From here, I'm going to go to settings and apps, and I need to pull the app off of my PC onto the Control X core. So the first thing I'm going to do is put it in service mode. And I'm going to click on lo local storage and the plus sign here select the app off my PC and that will upload the app to the control. Now I can click on install. Now the app's installed on the control X core and I can go back to operational mode. Okay now you can see that we have our app over here in our menu. We can go to access configurations and we're going to add four axes. So we're gonna click on the plus sign here, and the first axis that we're gonna add is axis X. So we're gonna add an XYZ for our robot. We're gonna leave it as linear, click OK. We're gonna add our Y axis. And if we want to, we can click this plus button and go ahead and add Z and add our fourth axis, which we'll call in feed. And then click OK. OK, so once I'm in here, I'm going to click on this little pencil icon and edit the axis properties. So for the X axis, I'm going to change the limits. I'm going to change the acceleration to 100 meters per second, as well as the deceleration. And I'm going to do that on the Y and the Z as well. And on the end feed, I'm also going to change the acceleration and deceleration. And I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to change the axis format for this axis from absolute to modulo. And what that means is it's just that it's going to roll over, the position is going to roll over. So unlike, unlike the XYZ that have defined positions like a start and an end point, the end feed is going to continuously run forward and roll over. So that's why it's called a modular axis. We're going to set the modular value or the rollover value to a thousand millimeters, one meter. Okay, so now we have our axis set up. We can move to setting up our kinematic or our robot. So we're going to click the plus here. And for this kinematic, we're just going to call it robot. And we're going to leave this selection as Cartesian. And click OK. So to configure our robot, we need to add axes. So this is going to define what servo axes that we just defined correspond to the kinematic axes in the robot. So for the main ax axis X, we're going to select our axis X. And then we're going to do the same for the Y and the Z. Okay, so now we have those set up. So now we need to set up the limits for the robot itself. So if we select the pencil icon, we can edit the kinematic limits. And here I'm gonna set the acceleration to 
100 meters per second for A cell and D cell, just like the other axes. Now we're going to save our configuration and we're going to click play. So now you can see that our motion app is running. What we can do now is we can go to axis commissioning and we can actually see motion. So if we power the X axis and click the jog button, you can see the position updating there. And you can see the state of the axis switching from standstill to discrete motion. And we can jog it backwards. We can do that for all our axes and we can change the velocity if we want to and the acceleration if we want to and jog that a little faster. The other thing we can do is we can go to our kinematic commissioning and run the robot as well. So in this case, I'm running my robot kinematic and I'm going to power the robot. I'm gonna group the axes, which is going to grab the X, Y, and Z servo axes and pull them into the kinematic and coordinate those axes together. And we're using our world coordinate system here. So we can go here and jog our robot axes. So we can look up here at the X, Y, Z, and if I click the plus, you can see the position change. Maybe we can speed up the velocity so it does a little faster in our acceleration and deceleration. There we go. So you can see now we're jogging our robot X, Y, and Z. And that's how you set up the Motion app. So in the next video, we'll show you in the PLC how you can actually program the axes from the PLC program and move the robot and the servo axes that way.